Brothers and sisters, welcome back to this Sunday Mass, which is for the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call on you. We gather in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we are called back once again to this path of God, asking to Him to help us and align our thoughts and mind toward His loving presence. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And together as today, as always, we pray. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God of might and giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. You duped me, O Lord, and I let myself be duped. You were too strong for me, and you triumphed. All the day I am an object of laughter. Everyone mocks me. Whenever I speak, I must cry out. Violence and outrage is my message. The word of the Lord has brought me derision and reproach all the day. I say to myself, I will not mention him. I will not speak in his name no more. But then it comes like a fire burning in my heart, imprisoned in my bones. I grow weary holding it in. I cannot endure it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's response, my soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. O God, you are my God, whom I seek. For you, my flesh pines and my soul thirsts, like the earth parched, lifeless, and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Thus I have gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is great is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Thus I will bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with riches of a banquet, my soul shall be satisfied. And with exultant lips, my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings, I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Today's second reading is from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, 
your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. Alleluia, alleluia. My friends, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You're an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay all according to his conduct. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, some of you are probably going to laugh at me when I say this, but way back where, um, in 1993, when I was a freshman in high school, I had this big idea that I, I wanted to play football. And so I started going to conditioning and um, you know, I had, I had imagined the glory of the game, you know, the, the cheering of the crowd, the Friday night lights, you know, suiting up and running out on the field and, and just, you know, all those magical moments of the game. I failed to take into account, however, the toughness, which I did not have, and the strength and the, the stick to and the the long hours and running and running and uh, and running some more and running some more. I didn't look at the whole picture of what it meant to actually play on that field on a Friday night. I saw all the beautiful parts. And, you know, maybe if I'd given it a chance and been more, um, been more engaged in it, I guess, that maybe I would have saw the glory of playing the game and not just the the sparkly parts, I guess, if you want to call it that. But it always reminds me of Jeremiah, because Jeremiah sort of talks about our journey as a disciple today. We can sometimes see all the glory parts, like being in heaven and being with God and how beautiful and magical it must be to see our friends and family again and We're all there praising God, and not just our nuclear family or our blood family or our close friends, but the whole community of the brothers and sisters in Christ praising the Lord together. It seems so beautiful and so, wow, I just want to do it. But then we get stuck in the dregs like Jeremiah. And Jeremiah, you know, he was young when he was called as a prophet, but he ran into difficulty. People wouldn't listen to him. He was despised. He was probably spit upon. He was ridiculed. He says it. The word of the Lord has brought me derision and reproach all the day. See, in our lives as Christians, we do are living differently. We're called to live differently. We're not called to live in the singular pleasure of the world, but we're called to live this life of honor and glory. Now, my friends, we all fail, and we all get irritated, and we all fall from that many, many times. And we all want to say what Jeremiah says, you tricked me, Lord. You promised me this, but you didn't tell me about this. 
Peter felt the same thing today when Jesus was saying, you know, I'm going to have to die for this message. I'm going to have to die for this cause. And Peter can't see that. All he can see is like I saw, like running out on the field and be like, yes, Lord, I love it. But it takes work. It takes sacrifice. It takes opposition. It takes struggle. And most importantly, it takes internal struggle to keep on that faith journey. It's hard, my friends. I love today's first, the the prayer from today, which we already heard, but I want to say it again because it is so beautiful. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured. It just echoes that we need to see deeper into the love of God, deepening our sense of reverence, not just the good times and not just the times where the struggle is simple and there's not even a struggle and it's so easy to be a disciple, but yet those times of sacrifice and self-denial Now, I know I'm not speaking to anybody who hasn't experienced this before. We've all fallen for this temptation of self-pleasure and self-defeating actions. But God continually calls us back and says, Okay, I know you were lost. I know you were struggling. I know that you failed. But God calls us back. He calls us back. Even though he ridicules Peter today, get behind me, Satan. You're thinking as humans do, but not as God does. We ask the Lord Jesus Christ today to help us to think like God, to see all of our brothers and sisters united in this cause of faith and hope and love. St. Paul says it. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of our mind, our mind set so closely onto God that even in those times when we turn from Him, He still burns deeply in our heart and turns us back to the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for that for each other, my brothers and sisters, this week, and let us see if we can make our minds line up with the beautiful plan of God our Father. Amen. Let us pray, my friends, our words of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who is spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, in our continual learning to trust and follow the path of God, we always have needs, and we ask God to hear those needs today and to send us His loving care. For Pope Francis, may the Holy Spirit continue to help him persevere in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may God inspire them in working to protect the sanctity of life from the womb to the tomb. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are lonely, may the Lord look with compassion upon their pain and bring them solace and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may God increase in us the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have struggled with the horrible sin of racism. May God help each of us to heal our wounds and heal our vision of all of us being the children of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the faithful departed. May they be welcomed by God into the eternal joy of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. My friends, we also add our own prayer that we brought to Mass tonight that weighs heavy on our hearts. For these intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, you are the Lord of all. We humbly ask you to listen to these, our prayers and petitions, which we ask in the name of your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, your home self to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we accept it by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray now, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. My friends, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him he has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Today, my friends, we'll pray Eucharistic prayer number one. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls and the hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. 
in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints. We ask through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and count among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you've given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who do, through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, in all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us, also your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. It's always so good to be with you. May Christ's peace be with you this day and every day. And I love you very much. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. My friends, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For our Mass is ended now, we go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.